Hey, this is a visual walkthrough of my Izmir 2021 late breaking demo called Utilizing Hierarchical Structure for Audio-Based Music Similarity. I'm Christos, I'm currently at Universidad Pompeu Fabra, uh, but this work was done when I was at New York University of Abu Dhabi. The goal of this work is to define an audio-based music similarity metric that takes into account the musical structure or form of a piece, and this is motivated by what I will be referring to for the rest of this presentation as the alignment problem in music comparison. I will demonstrate this problem in a technique that is used very commonly uh, in implementations of music similarity. Say you're working with a large music data set and you have their audio files and perhaps you want to classify the genre. You compute the spectrogram or some other music feature um, and then you're deciding on a distance metric to use between the songs or perhaps feeding them into a convolutional neural network. A uh, step that you might face is that you might need to reduce the feature vectors derived from the spectrogram or, or the music features into the same dimension. Now a very simple and commonly employed approach would be to truncate all the songs to the duration of the shortest song, or perhaps get a 30 second segment from the middle of every song. And this is where the problem comes. Uh, let's say the 30 second segment from one song uh, contains just parts of the verse. Meanwhile, the 30 second segment of the second song contains some of the verse and some of the chorus, and this is where the comparison gets a bit less meaningful. If you've selected an audio chunk that contains a structural boundary, uh, then you might have a spike of novelty and perhaps a change of musical characteristics after the boundary. Meanwhile, if the audio chunk is within a specific structural segment, uh, then you tend to have more homogeneous or less varying musical features, which makes questions such as how similar is the instrumentation of this segment to another, a bit more meaningful and easy to define, both conceptually and computationally. There are certainly more sophisticated approaches to this. For example, one might use audio thumbnailing to find the most representative section of the song, but this still doesn't solve the alignment problem. On the other hand, there are approaches like audio descriptors that describe a song within a given dimension. But these have other disadvantages, such as uh, losing temporal information about the evolution of musical features within a song. And this is where this demo comes in. Given two pieces, first, analyze their structure from their audio at different levels of granularity. And then second, select segments across the structural hierarchies of both pieces to compare. For the hierarchical structure analysis method, I'm using the one by McPhee and Ellis. In this method, you compute an affinity graph from a sequence of musical features, and then you shift it to its matrix representation. We then perform spectral clustering on this matrix. To create approximations of structure at different levels of granularity, each time we use a different number of clusters, which results in the amount of segment types that are produced. After the structures are computed, we move to the second part. We select all pairs of structural segments across the hierarchies of both pieces that have the same number of beats. Now this is more flexible than it seems. We aren't just comparing a segment from the same granularity of analysis to another, but rather across all hierarchies. This means that we might be comparing a smaller structural segment with part of a larger structural segment of another piece. Importantly, we are favoring comparisons between structural segments that are comparatively invariant in musical characteristics, and we are avoiding structural segment boundaries, which introduce a lot of novelty. There are further improvements we can make in this selection. For example, we can select only the segments that are closest position to each other. We can also only select the largest segments. All this depends on our knowledge of our music data set. When comparing two very popular songs from roughly the same genre, we see that a large portion of both of them is actually eligible to be compared with this method. Now, the main focus of this was this alignment of comparison. From now onwards, you can use a distance metric of your liking uh, to experiment with what works best. We see similar results when comparing a studio recording of a song to its live performances. Uh, large portions of both songs in the comparison are deemed eligible to be compared. But this is more of a qualitative look into things and a quantitative evaluation needs to be done. Uh, for example, looking into cases of comparing songs from a different genre or different music tradition, but also the exact configuration of uh, structural analysis parameters and even the distance metric that is used at the end. The source code for this is publicly available for you to experiment with any song you want, uh, and feedback would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for your interest.